What's going on YouTube? This is Tavron on Trinity, the Diesel Soldier. And today, I'm gonna show you guys something a little bit different than a tool. And to guys, if you guys don't know that I am in the Diesel Apprentice Program. So that meant that I had to go to school for union purposes. And also I would, I actually like going to school because uh, I learned a lot of stuff besides from my job. And the theory sometimes is kind of boring, but it's also good for if you want to know how things work. But right now I'm taking welding. So today a tool haul is going to be a welding tool haul. So let's go. Been on the flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, sweet, go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the All right, so the first item on this welding tool haul is going to be a black stallion glove. And this is for MIG and TIG welding, uh, as it says on the description. And everything that I got from that, from this tool haul, is from, most of it at least, is from Cyberweld. And Cyberweld is not really, like, the only welding store or uh, online store in you know out there but if i were you i would go shop at a local store welding store at least and check that out but i took a chance and go into welding store because from what i've read and from what my professor or my instructor told me it's that uh, cyber weld is pretty legit when it comes to their product it's actually a uh, welders uh, welder certified or whatever that term is but yeah black sign gloves and a little tip for you guys that's new one of the welding game is that like if you buy a glove you 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 have to be able to hold a pen with it so and write with it so i can hold a pen and i can actually write with it so i guess this is a good size for me Nope, oh, that's about it for this glove. It's just a black stallion. That's there's the part number GM1611. Let's go to the next item. All right, so the next one is like a shirt, it's a fire resistant shirt, and they require this for uh, before doing any kind of welding in class. If you don't have this or you don't have any kind of, kind of fire resistant shirt on you or a glove or any kind of PPE, you will actually have to be sent home and and come back until you get, you know, a PPE because they are really, really strict on safety. When it and that is a good uh, sign of a college cares about you is they care about safety on your workplace too. If your workplace sucks, they don't care about safety measures. That means they don't care about you. So don't be annoyed when a there's a person that's a stickler on safety because safety can save lives save your limbs and you know just being aware of things can also be safe and so the college wants a safety shirt and i got this on amazon for about 50. i don't really know the name of it it's but it says t-i-t kaka Titicaca, me? I, I, I don't know what that even means, guys. It sounds dirty to me. I know caca is poop in Spanish, and TT is penis in Tagalog. So it, it's just, it just sounds dirty to me. So let's go to the next item. One of the requirements on doing TIG or MIG welding is to have a, some kind of a respiratory protection. And I got a Honeywell P100 uh, respiratory uh, breather mask. And this right here is about 50 bucks. And if you're trying to get it right now, it actually is back ordered as of this time. And this, today is March 6, 2021. So maybe because of COVID and I don't think so. 
but uh, because COVID is actually, people are not taking COVID seriously anymore. And that's what's the problem, but that's either new or there. So this is the Honeywell P100, let's go to the next item. All right, so the next one, guys, sorry about my hair. It's a little bit messy. It's a welding uh, hat. I look like a, I don't know. I look like a gay dude about to get a haircut. I don't know. I just, I don't know if I would like to fit that, but whatever. Just a welding hat. I, I look stupid with this, guys. <laughs> All right, so this is the welding cap. This is like 10 bucks and Cyberweld. Uh, I guess it's a Black Stallion brand again. If you guys want the part number, there is none. And it is one size fits all, made in China. So for you guys, it's not, doesn't support Chinese products, you probably want to skip on that. So let's go to the next one. Uh, the next two items is gonna blow. I'm just kind of breeze through this. It's gonna be the this is gonna be the TIG electrodes, and it's 1 16th by 7. And they require this for TIG welding. So I got one of these, and it's supposed to last me for four weeks. Um, I'm not sure. If ever I'm gonna buy another one, another set of this. And it's weird that some colleges, from what I've heard, they provide the electrodes, but us, I guess we have to buy our own. I guess uh, the college is trying to save money or whatever, but it's only like about 20 bucks. You know, I can buy another set if I ran out or before I ran out. So that's it for that. And then the next one is gonna be a ear protections. I bought about like four packs of ear protections just so uh, they need it to protect your ears. Remember, safety is always a uh, priority and always protect your eyes, your ears, and all five senses basically. All right, so ear protection. Let's go to the main one. All right, so the main item on this tool haul is gonna be the Miller T94i auto darkening welding helmet. And a reason why I picked this over a snap-on, it's because that purpose right there. When they said that like, when you make a mistake, you had to wear goggles and you have to keep interchanging um, goggles and the helmet when you're making uh when you, when you are going to a grinder so i picked this for that purpose so i don't have to keep taking off my matte welding helmet i can just do a flip top so let's unbox this right now i already actually unboxed this i just kept it on the box because i don't want to damage it until i use it when i get to school so still the plastic there it goes, right there, bam. Uh, it's not as fancy as like some of the like uh, Snap-on guys that has a design on this. I don't know, I really like those and I thought, and I think they're awesome, but not for my intended use or purpose is to just, you know, weld stuff and not to look cool. But you know, you can do the, you can boot both. That's how you can't. So let's take off my hat here and uh, let's try this on. It does have an auto, it has an adjusting for to adjust your head. Like that. So this is my favorite feature of this. Not only auto darkening, but it's also, uh, you can flip the top if I can figure out how. Right there. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is my intended purpose. I don't have to keep taking it off and taking it on and put on the goggles just to go to the grinder if I ever had to use one. Um, damn. I think that looks cool. Also, you could see from 
You can also see from the corner. And that's about it for this helmet. And whatever that comes with it, it comes with a, it comes with a cover or a little baggie, a Miller baggie. And some, and a plastic, uh, I guess, to protect the the helmet and some like side side panel replacements and that's about it um this right here cost about four hundred dollars and why did i choose this over a cheaper brand uh from what i've heard this is one of the best in the industry and if you know about me, I know about, I like about quality. And they said Miller is also made in the US and I support USA product. If it's not, then I've been just fooled if this is not made in the US. And I could have been with Speed Glass or any other brand that's popular out there. But Miller, I've, I've read some reviews and some personal uh, experiences from other welders. And this is one of the best in the industry, so especially at entry level and i don't plan on upgrading this in the future maybe if it breaks hopefully not cross my finger but i don't plan on buying another set of welder welding helmet so i'm planning on keeping this the rest of my career to the you know till it breaks basically and that's about it so that is about for my video guys if you got if you want any information on this video, like parts or where I got it, like I told you guys, most of the things that I got in this video is from Cyberworld. I use my own money. I'm not sponsored. I wish. And to be honest, I got financial aid. I just use my financial aid to buy all of this and most of my tools. So if you guys have any question on what to get for your TIG welding, because right now we're going to start on TIG. And then after four weeks, it was gonna be MIG. And on MIG, and how it's set up right now is that you go to class for four weeks of Zoom, and then four weeks of just four days a day, four days a week of just you know hands-on welding, and four weeks of TIG. Up, oh, let me replace that. Four eight weeks of TIG, eight weeks of MIG, four weeks of that is a Zoom class. And that's how it's set up most of the welding classes right now in California colleges. I don't know. It could be different on your college here in California, but that's how it's set up in Alameda County, at least. And that is just how it's set up right now. Like if it's uh, if you have lab on your diesel class, you have to go to Zoom Monday to Monday to Friday and then uh, either go to either go to lab on Wednesday, Thursday. It doesn't make sense to go to Zoom. Back then it's a one hour lecture and then the rest of the class is just gonna be on lab, which is hands-on is where we at, you know. We can't rely on theory. Theory is good, but there's only so much you can do with theory. Uh, hands-on is the best experience. So that is about it, guys. This is Tyrone Trinity. And remind you guys that knowledge is a tool, use it wisely, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, support my channel. Peace out.